hello guys let me take my mask off i just came from work sometimes i forget to take off my mask how are you doing i hope you're doing fine i need to buckle up and then reverse my car and get out of the parking lot coming from work today tonight was a long shift oh goodness i didn't even get to go to lunch i have to go back someone is passing i was busy 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 but i'm like oh, come on i have to do a video gonna do a video so let's talk about uh, anticipating for the DV lottery winners. Everybody is anticipating for that. Trying to get out of the parking lot. It's, a, it's very small. So you, gotta, you always have to be very careful. Because if you're not, you're going to hit other people's cars. You're gonna be in trouble with your insurance. You don't want that to happen to you. So you have to be very careful when you're getting out um, because the cars are always very closely parked and uh, you're gonna be very careful. So this is Charities Bubble you are your number one channel as usual. I hope that you are doing great. I am doing fabulous. I'm doing fantastic. So I know the anticipation is high. Today is the 19th of April 2024. So I have very few days uh, for April to go away and then we'll be in May. And then we will be doing. Oh, excuse my yawning. Who has won and who has not won? But uh, so let's prepare. You know, I always sometimes I like to give an um, an example. Hmm? If you read the Bible, there is a story or a parable. If you've read the parables in the Bible, there is a parable of the ten virgins. So I want to start with that parable of the ten virgins. Because here we are doing preparation. And preparation is important. So let's talk about the parable of the ten virgins. So the ten virgins were going to a wedding. If you are not familiar with the story. They were going to a wedding. And um, they did not know when the bridegroom was going to come in. So... They were ready, they had dressed up, they were looking good. And they went, they had lamps. But they weren't, they weren't told the time that uh, the bridegroom was going to come in. So they, uh, they waited and waited and waited and the groom did not show up. So after waiting for a long time, their lamps, the oil in their lamps got finished. So there are five of them, we call them the five, five wise ones, they had carried extra. And they were able to add the lamp to their lamps. And uh, by the time the groom was coming in, uh, they were ready. But the other five, when their lamps were off, they had to go outside to fetch for more oil. But then when they came back, the door had been shut. So why am I giving this story? Because you have to be prepared, guys, for the DV lottery. Because questions come in, and I, I like to give uh, some examples before I do a video. Because um, I know that um, you can relate to what I am saying. So, these are the things that you must have. Let us not even talk about the passport, because the passport is a must. Everybody knows about the passport. As soon as you get... You get selected for your DV lottery you must get a passport for everybody that's a must that's that is a must now 
There's another thing that you will need before you get to your passport. Because I know that uh, not everybody has uh, a passport and uh, not everybody has the need to get a passport unless they are going out. out. You know, they're going outside uh, the country. But when uh, when you win your DV lottery, before you even get the passport from any country that you come from, it doesn't matter the country that you come from, you will need your birth certificate. A birth certificate is important. And I am saying this because uh, you find that there are some people who do not even know where the, by their birth certificate is. Hmm? Because there are some people who are like, I don't know whether my parents have it. I don't know whether they went to, go, to get it or whatever. They don't know. So if you are here and uh, you have the anticipation, before the DV lottery, you check and you find out that you have been selected. Find your birth certificate and find the birth certificate for your kids. You know, there are some people who have children and it's okay. And then when you get your children, you, you get that little notification. It's given everywhere. In any country, you must get a notification of birth. Because uh, all, all uh, nationalities have to record births and deaths in their country. So when a baby is born, there's a little paper that everybody is given. A little notification for the birth. And that is the ticket that's going to help you acquire a birth certificate. I hope you are together. So... So this is a fire department. If there is a fire in your house and you call 911, those fire people show up very fast. So what I'm saying is have that notification. Have it saved because when you're going to get your birth certificate, they will require that. If you uh, And you know some people are like, what if I go with my ID? Your ID is not going to help you get your passport. It's not going to. What helps you to get your passport is your birth certificate or well, that notification you go you get your birth certificate because with that if you don't have a birth certificate but you have the notification you will be able to go and apply for a birth certificate and you will have it in handy so by the time you are winning your DV lottery because it's important for you to apply for uh, your passport immediately after you win your DV lottery because it doesn't take a day to come in it takes some time and you want to be able to fill out your DS-260 promptly or early you know the earlier the better you know so you want to have that it's important for you to have a birth certificate very very important and that includes for you and for your kids it's very very important uh the other thing but that one is gonna uh, uh that, that one is gonna uh come in later after you have filled out your ds 260 and uh, uh after after you win uh, the DV lottery, I'm going to go online and show you guys how to fill out the DS-260. I like to do these things when, like in, like in real time because you find that sometimes I'll do it and then uh, it's not yet. Because uh, right now I don't think, I don't know, I'm not sure, but I don't think that someone is filling out their DS-260 right now. Unless they are very late to fill out for the last um, DV lottery. Because uh, that one will end in September. So if you're filling out your DS-260 like now, right now, you might be a little bit late. But anyway, it is what it is. Better late than never. So I'm going to talk about the DS-260 after you guys have uh, been selected. And guys, like I said, I'm going to go live uh, on that day. So that it's going to be on a Saturday, the 4th of May. So that I can see uh, who has uh, been selected. The other thing that you will need like I'm going backwards it's your confirmation number guys I hope you kept that one safe I hope you did not leave your confirmation number with the cyber guy hmm? I hope you did not do that I hope that your confirmation number was kept safe your confirmation number remember um, there are some people who are very bad and they like to make money out of people so if you had someone who had um filled out your DS-260 and they held your confirmation number. Remember when we were filling out the DV lottery, my my advice was like, even if someone is doing it for you, make sure that you know what they are filling out. Make sure that you know your email address 
uh, make sure that they have put your date of birth correctly make sure that um, you know every detail that they put in there because someone might hide your confirmation number but that doesn't mean that you cannot retrieve it you can retrieve another one you can go online you go to uh, the DV lottery website and you can retrieve your confirmation number it's very very easy but that will be if you know the month and the year that they put in on your application and you know your email address and you know the password to your email address these are important things that I am telling you people because after the, the DV lottery is open I am sure that people will start emailing they're like I lost my confirmation number or my confirmation number have, was with someone and that person is asking me for money uh, because I have won the DV lottery they're telling me that I have won anyway some of them will lie to you and they will tell you that uh, you have won the DV lottery so that you can pay them you have to be able to have this information by yourself so if you don't have it and someone is trying to blackmail you or maybe trying to get some money from you because they can check for you you can be able to retrieve your confirmation number online on the DV lottery website you are able to do that where we go to check for the results that's where you can go and retrieve uh, your confirmation number remember I tell you that um, when we uh, when we won our DV lottery or um, when the review lottery came out during our year we lost our confirmation number and we didn't have the information we didn't even know like where to get it from because that paper was completely lost but I went online and I searched and searched and searched and searched until I found it you know you know I, 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 I didn't know that it was there but I know you know like when God wants to bless you it doesn't matter what hindrance comes in you will still get there so we got there because we got our confirmation number. So if you don't have it, you have lost your confirmation number and you're not able to check your results, you can go online as so long as you know your date of birth. Actually, the, the man that you are born, the year that you are born and the month that you are born because they will ask you for that. And then they will ask you for the email address that was used when you did your application because that is where they are going to send you your confirmation number and you will get it and you will be able to check for your results. So that's very, very important information that you should know. You know, um, it might look like it's easy, but you find that there are some people who live in a places that they cannot access the internet and that they are they cannot even they don't even have a smartphone so they had to make a journey to go somewhere for, for another person or that party to do them the application and then that person was like let me keep it for you and you know if you leave someone with that information and they did apply for you and they even know your email and everything they will be able to access and it's very easy for them to blackmail you but what i'm here to tell you is that you don't have to go through all that what you need to do is you know your information so make sure that uh, you are able to you know the information that you're able to retrieve your confirmation number i hope that is helpful i hope that is very very helpful and i am still praying for you guys i'm still praying that um you get selected for the dv lottery because like i say it is a life changing experience guys to come and live in america oh my gosh it's a life changing experience and when you win your dv lottery guys or when you win your DV lottery, and I know most people don't like talking about it, especially after you have just won, uh, because you really don't know. Because winning doesn't mean that you're going to get a visa. It depends. But uh, if you have won, and you have gone through the whole process, you have um, you have gone through the whole process, you have uh, gotten your visa, please share with us. Come contact me. I have my Facebook page, a I have a Facebook, uh, a Charity's Bubble fan page on Facebook. Contact me, reach out, and we can do an interview. These interviews are very important because they help people to uh, know that it is real. They help people to know that it can be done. You know. So, guys, all I can do right now is to wish you all the best. I wish you all the best in whatever that you are doing. I wish you all the best as you wait for the DV lottery. Uh, I'm going to work tonight. I have four days to work. This is my first day. Actually, it was five days because yesterday I worked. I'm going to work today and then I'm going to work Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then I'm going to rest. So, guys, I wish you all the best. Thank you for always supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you for always subscribing. Thank you for always sharing. And remember, we have another channel. 
it is called Kwemenya America. You will find Francis. Uh, he is most of the time he posts videos videos there, which is okay. Sometimes once in a while or once in a blue, once in a blue moon, I can go in and uh, we can do together. But it depends on our schedule. I tell you guys here, this is America. We go with schedule. Even husband and wife, you have to have your own schedules. You even have a, to have schedule for to have time for each other because if you don't, then you just separate and you you know like it's crazy. Like right now, I'm coming from work. I know Francis is ready to leave. Hmm? And this is a good day because our youngest kids are not going to school. They are going to be home. So I have to stay with them at home because Francis has to go to work. So you find that even uh, for married couples, it can be a challenge. You know, it can be a challenge. But uh, with uh, if you keep God first and if you keep on like working hard and working on yourself, it's very easy for you to be able to uh, balance, have that balance, be able to work, be able to have time for your kids, be able to have time for your spouse and all that. So guys, I wish you all the best. See you in another video. Thank you and God bless you.